Greetings, Benjamin J. Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, still moving the Commodore Vanderbilts off their shelf, so one at a time I'm putting them uh, on the rail. But I want to do a quick video on this. This was my very first wind-up conversion. Now, I found this on eBay for, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that. And this old engine was just absolutely beat to death. Uh, it was covered in rust. Uh, the motor was, uh, yeah, the wind-up motor was just completely trashed. And uh, it was just a, a junker. I mean, absolute junker. Uh, like I said, just eaten alive with rust. And so uh, I sprayed the, uh, the body uh, after filling the slot and the hole on the side with epoxy putty uh, with this metallic black paint. Now, it's got uh, little flecks in it, as you see. It looks almost wet when you walk past it. And uh, the stacks were just covered in rust. So I sprayed them with a light gray, and the uh, front bezel is silver, as you see, and uh, put a, another 490 motor in it, full-size 490 double reduction motor. And uh, just wanted to do a, a quick video of this. This was my very, very first Commodore Vanderbilt. Now, I wanted a Commodore Vanderbilt when I first got into this. And I looked on eBay, and they're expensive, and a really nice one is really expensive, sometimes upwards of $100. And uh, so looking at these, uh, I did some quick measurements of existing engines and found that all you have to do to put a standard electric motor in a windup is to change the front crossbar. So I would buy these windups, this is my first one, uh, pull the crossbar off the electric motor, off the uh, windup motor, put it on the electric motor, and it's an instant drop in replacement and it converts it into an electric, electric locomotive. And like I said, this was 10 bucks, 12 bucks, something like that. And uh, you'll notice that being a wind-up, it has no handrails. It has no spots for handrails. However, it does have a hole to uh, mount the electric light uh, for the headlight, which is really strange. Anyway, so obviously they had these parts and uh, used the uh, front dome on all of them. And uh, there are no holes for the handrails in the body itself. So all in all, this came out fairly decent considering, I mean, this was junk. This was just a rusted hulk. And I got it cheap and uh, uh, put a few hours work in it. I had this done in, I don't know, probably two days. And the hardest part was basically getting the, uh, the pitting uh, I mean, this thing was just absolutely eaten alive, covered in rust. And it runs well, it looks nice, uh, acceptable anyway. And uh, this was my very first Commodore Vanderbilt. And uh, still run it once in a great while. It's been sitting on the bench or on the shelf now for months. But since I'm moving them, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. So anyway, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching